Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. I have found another AI power ID for coding and its name is Kiro and it is made by Amazon. Here you see Amazon's new cloud power spec driven ID Kiro feels like a game changer and they have mentioned one thing which is spec driven. If you go to their interface here you see this is the same interface like the VS code but there are many features that they have added and one of the exciting feature is this this vibe and spec here you see there are two option and one is vibe another one is this spec so if you select spec then it will add extra things for you and if you just select vibe then it will do the simple coding and also you see that it is completely free there you will find only this cloud sonnet 4 and cloud sonnet 3.7 option and there is a autopilot option also if you turn on this then it will automatically approve all of the changes and you don't have to manually uh, give the permission for accept or reject things okay so let's see that how it actually works but before that let me show you some of the things that they have mentioned in their uh, code editor okay here you see i am excited to announce kiro an ai id that helps you deliver from concept to production so this is a production ready uh, this ai id and if i show you one thing here you see they have given one option and if i turn on this there you will find this spec option on the left hand side follow my cursor you will find this spec option and after that there is a agent hook option and after that there is a agent steering option and after that there is a mcp server option okay so currently one mcp that they have added this is and you can add as many mcp that you want so these things are important this agent hooks is very much necessary for a successful project okay and now if i tell you that uh, through a simplified uh, developer experience for working with AI agents, Kiro is a great at uh, vibe coding but goes way beyond that and Kiro's strength is getting those prototypes into production system with features and spec and hooks. So these are the important features spec and hooks and here you see that uh, Kiro is between this vibe coding and the specs. So the flow of vibe coding is this one and uh, on the right hand side there is a spec so kiro combines this by coding and specs i will discuss in detail what is this space specs here you see kiro specs are artifacts that provide useful anytime you need to think through a feature in depth and refactor work that needs upfront planning or when you want to understand the behavior of the system in short most things you need to get to production requirements are usually uncertain when you start building so i hope that you remember when i talked about the task master okay task master if i search on our channel then you will find this task master okay so these specs are basically same as the task master if you don't have the idea then just give your planning or what you want to build to this spec and it will automatically generate the requirements and the task for you so this task master is a built-in feature in this kiro i hope you got the point so if you turn on this spec then it will automatically add the requirement file in your folder and it will execute that uh, one by one and also there is one thing kiro hooks it act like an experienced developer caching uh, things you miss and catching things you miss or completing boilerplate tasks in the background as you work. This event-driven automation triggers an agent to execute a task in the background when you save, create, delete files or a manual trigger. So if I take you to this um, ID. By the way, if you want to download this ID, then I have given this link in description. So if you go to this Kiro, then there you will find this uh, download for windows option but uh, it is av available for all of the operating system means linux mac so if you simply go to this all downloads and there you will find it that mac windows and linux for all of this operating system it is available okay so according to that os please download that 
and the installation procedure is very simple just do that next 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 and after that you will find one login page so there you can simply do the login using your uh, email id okay sign up with google or sign up with microsoft whatever you prefer and after that you will find this kind of page okay and here you see that uh, this agent hooks so if i show you a little bit uh, details about this agent hooks so what is it is telling that agent hooks listen to the file changes follow my cursor agent hooks listen to the file changes and automatically trigger Kiro to take following up action you can configure the file pass event trigger and follow up the actions to take so first is event occurs second one is prompt is sent to agent and the third one is Kiro makes updates so if I just write this one that listen to the source code files here you follow here you see follow my cursor in this prompt option uh, means the describe a hook using this natural language so if I just zoom it little bit I hope it will be clearly visible for you yes this one uh, listen to source code files in the repository when changes are detected analyze the modified code for potential improvements including code smells design patterns and best practices and generate suggestion for improving code quality while maintaining the existing functionality so basically when you are writing code sometimes it happens that we don't follow the exact procedure or exact pattern okay so in that case if you write a agent if you write a agent or a hook agent hook in this way then what it will do that when you are writing the code or when ai will write the code it will automatically gets triggered and if it is not following the pattern then it will uh, uh, update your code to get the best pattern or the best changes best improvements in your code i hope you got the point okay so let's say i am adding it here so just enter and here you see that it is adding that things okay now uh, how to work with this two option or how to uh, work in this uh, vive and this spec and here you see that on the left hand side this agent hooks got automatically added this one and there is a code quality analyzer this is my agent hook okay okay now in my current folder there is a four files are there in this store html script.js and style.css okay now what i'll do i will select this vive for now and uh, after that i will show you that how spec feature will work okay first let me show you this vive so i have selected this vive now if i just write that uh, add uh, theme uh, theme toggle button okay toggle button for dark and uh, light mode switching and just press enter and i have selected this cloud sonnet 4 and i have selected this autopilot now if i press enter you will see that it will do the thinking and it will start working to modify our code base now it is reading files currently it is free guys if i take you to their official uh, page and there if you go to this pricing section here you see that it is now currently showing the coming soon coming soon means currently they have not uh, added their pricing feature but in the upcoming days they might release this pricing feature but if you see that how long will i be able to use this kilo for free now they are writing that kilo is free to use during preview and includes generous limit that allow you to try the product without disruption so that means currently it is free and here you see that it has added this uh, all of these things okay and one change got accepted automatically because i have turned on this autopilot feature and now if i click on this view on and what are the things that it has added you will be able to see that okay theme toggle functionality here it has added now another thing is that uh, if i show you uh, what is that this is the uh, okay one thing you see that in my current folder there is no requirement or txt file okay there is no requirement or txt file it has added because i have not selected that spec things 
now i will select that spec things and i will show you now if i select this spec and now if i just write that add some cool animation animation in my project so that it looks modern okay now if i just write these things and press enter you will you see that i have selected this pic and you just see on the left hand side in my current folder it will add one file so now press enter and now it is writing that things and here you see that currently it is understanding the project structure it is writing that let me first check your current project structure to understand what we are working with and uh, here you see requirements.md file and on the left hand side you see that it has added this requirements.md file and uh, if i click on it currently it is modifying or creating that file so we have to wait for some time and in this way what will happen that you will get the best output here you see it has added many things the introduction the requirements this story acceptance criteria okay and uh, requirements to acceptance criteria so here you see that uh, it has added some of the requirements and the acceptance criteria and uh, the requirements is that as a user visiting the platform i want to see some smooth entrance animation when the page loads so that the interface feels polished and professional this is the requirement means it has automatically added the requirements i just told it that add some cool animation but it has automatically added this uh, requirement and the acceptance is acceptance is basically a unit testing that it should be happen okay and this is the requirement to if user interacting with any element then also it should uh, show some interaction animation okay in this way you see that it has added many feature some smooth loading animation okay means whatever is required for a project it has added all of that things for you you don't have to manually generate that taskmaster file okay and now you see that it is asking me move to design phase follow my cursor in this message box option it is asking me move to design phase now if i click on this yes move to design phase now you see that it will automatically add some of the designs okay here you see this is the design.md file it has added in my current repository i hope you are able to see that file this is the design.md file now it is creating that so it is very cool feature in this uh, this ai power id that is made by amazon and amazon did a great great job guys and if you are finding this video helpful then please don't forget to subscribe this channel guys because here you see that uh, i have already published many videos regarding you only this is the gog4 plus cursor uh, combination that i published a video and kimi k2 free api on open router and this is a small llm3 and this cursor information gog4 information so in this channel you will find each and everything what is happening in a more detailing way here you see this is a design document and now here you see that after this design if you see that inside this design.md file it has added this architecture the animation system structure in CSS to add animation, it, it will add this keyframe animation, transform based introduction. Okay, so various type of inform introduction it has added. Strategy, components, okay. So where it will add that animation? It will add that animation in hero title, hero subtitle, action button, asset card, navigation. In all of these areas, it will add that. Now it is asking me move to implementation plan. Now if I click on it, so in this uh, prompt section, follow my cursor, you will find this move to implementation plan. Now if I click on it, you will see that it will implement that design in my current code base. Okay. And before that also, it will create that tags.md file. So it is actually proceeding in a um, sequence, 
CL manner. Okay, so I will first design the requirement, then I will uh, generate the design, then I will generate the task, then I will complete the task one by one. Okay, so it is actually better than the cursor. Okay, so here you see. So for this requirement 4.4, it will uh, perform this task. And for this requirement 5.1234, 4, it will perform this task. So one by one, it has written all of these things. A whole lengthy uh, task, I mean 16 tasks you will perform. And at the end, you see that it is doing that final integration and testing also. Okay, it, it is doing that thing also. Now, now if you want to add a agent or a hooks, for testing, they are all, then also you can go there. This agent hooks, uh, there we have already added this code quality analyzer. There also you can add this uh, one agent as a hook who can perform the testing for you. Okay. And also uh, here you see that uh, it, it is my asking, it is asking me that finalize task click. Now task list. Now if I click on it, here you will see that. Uh, it will now generate the code and it will perform that. Here you see three changes accepted because currently this autopilot is on. Now if I go to that file style.css you will see that changes and it has added. Okay. Now another thing is that if you uh, click on this Kiro icon I hope you are able to see that Kiro icon. So one, two, three, four, five. So from the upper part, if you go to this fifth icon, this is the Kiro icon. There you will find that. Okay. That you see inside the specs, this modern animation spec got added. So when you will add some specs, it will add that specs here also one by one. Okay. Then agent, agent hooks, agent steering is there. Means you can modify that agent behavior if you want. And also MCP server is there. So this is actually great and these are the things that I want to discuss with you and uh, in the upcoming future if they add some pricing also currently it is free but in the upcoming uh, month if you uh, see that they have added their pricing as a Kido Pro then also I will tell you that uh, please use this Kido because it is means it is completely better than Cursor and Windsor because here you will find the built-in task planner and it is very much necessary here you see for the simple animation it has done a lot of things and it will, it will get the best output ultimately right so these are the things and i have given all of this link this download link in description so go there and also i have given this blog link in description so if you want to read it you can read that thing also but things you will uh, get in this kilo and another thing is that if you see uh, here you will find this inline editing also so if i go to one file and if i just uh, press enter there you will find this inline editing so inline editing feature also is enabled here so the shortcut is uh, i think they have one shortcut so where I can find that shortcut. Let me show you that shortcut. So close all of these things. And here you see. Okay, for inline chat, the shortcut is Control plus I in Windows. In uh, Mac or Linux, it will be different. So all of that shortcut you will find here. So when you will open this ID, you will find all of these shortcut comments. So if I just open one file and uh, open one file and just press control i and here you see this is the inline shortcut got open so you can select one uh, line and you can modify that also okay so it has that much power so i hope this detailed video is helpful for you guys and if you found helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and bye bye